even get past the first level on this. Let me see if Nintendo Power has anything on this. It's a pretty hard game. Hmm. Mario. Super Mario World 1. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Talk to a counselor. That's it. Maybe they'll know what to do. Thank you for calling Nintendo Power Line. This is Chad speaking. How can I help you game? Hi, yes, I'm actually looking to speak with somebody about helping me out on Super Mario Bros. 1. I'm stuck on the first world. Oh, okay, first world. You're probably stuck at the castle, aren't you? No, no, it's not the castle. No, uh, before that. The first level, okay. Not, not the warp pipe in the underground world, right? No, just the first level, okay. No, it's not the underground warp pipe, whatever that is. No, I think it's before that. I, I'm on the first level when you start the game. World 1, uh, ooh, I can't okay. get past the Goombas or the pipes. I'm really stuck. You can't get past the first enemy? Been trying for like hours. <laughs> no, you're fine. Please hold, buddy. Yeah, I can hold. Hey, Kyle, get over here. This guy can't get past the first level. What do you mean you can't get past the first level? That's the first enemy. It's a catchy jingle. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him on hold for a few minutes. Waste some of his mom's credit card money. I'm sure that uh, she's gonna get pissed out when she finds out that he is. <laughs> Can't get past the first Goomba. I'm gonna pick him back up now. Wait, drinks? I hope this is part of my mom's credit card. Martha gonna be there? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hey there, buddy. You still there? Thanks for holding. Yeah, I'm here. So, the problem with that is, uh, you're gonna have to return the game. You, <laughs> you don't even bother, dude. Stick to reading books or something. Return the game. Oh, Jode. They hung up on me. That's weird. It's me, Mario. Now, you're playing with power. Shut up! Created in 1988 to run with the first line of Nintendo Power, the Nintendo Power Line was a hotline you could call for help on any N64, Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boy, GameCube, Wii, pretty much any Nintendo system that existed. Up until 2010 where it was axed because, you know, the internet existed and YouTube was a thing. They did, however, bring it back in 2016 for the release of the classic NES, where you would call and actually hear memos from the actual counselors from back in the day. They would give you tips on Super Mario Bros., Metroid, and even Zelda. Nintendo Power Line is one of those joys from retro gaming that we really can't replicate today. Pretty much your solution is YouTube, or if you still buy the strategy guides. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to watch two videos I had to scour the dark web for on Nintendo Power Line. So, without further ado, let's start with the 80s video. Sharon Mitchell. I got a chance to go up to Redmond, Washington, where Nintendo of America is headquartered. And that's one company that's out to prove that video games aren't just for kids anymore. Nintendo Gameplay, this is Jenny. How may I help you? Nintendo, are you using child labor? You've only been through the first cement pit. Well, the Final Fortress is kind of a magical maze. Well, the Final Fortress is kind of like a magical maze. Right under the wet paint sign? Is that Dave Grohl from Nickelback? That has to be. That looks just like it. You'll get to a place where there's this big skull head guy. It looks kind of like something from Star Wars. Skull head? In Star Wars? I'm trying to think. Is that George Lucas? No. Luke Skywalker? No, not Luke Skywalker. Darth Vader? No. Oh, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about Luke's hat and uncle. If you're one of America's 65 million Mario-loving maniacs, you know the lingo. They're talking Warp Zones. They're talking Nintendo, a video game phenomenon that's still going strong six years later. It's, it's, it's just like a culture. Um, you know, again, Nintendo revitalized the video game industry, and uh, once that started, it was, it was like a snowball effect. There was just no stopping it. Damn, Rick. Nice haircut. I like your style. I really do. Don't you just love the music? 
Who plays a game like that? Ow! That hurts! Ow! Ah, god damn it! <laughs> no! No! Fun. <laughs> Some of the games are just really mentally challenging. The name of the games is the games. As if 400 games... Did anyone notice that subliminal messaging? <laughs> really mentally challenging. The name of the games is the games. Must. Buy. Nintendo. 200 game counselors based in Redmond, Washington, field questions from players all over the United States, okay. Europe, and Canada. And we're taking 140,000 calls a week, which is 20,000 a day, if that means What's anything. That? It's, it's incredible. Players call in for a variety of reasons. Number one, and probably the most popular, is how do I get through this game? How do I defeat Ganon in The Legend of Zelda? How do I drive my car? How do I make pit stops? It could be just about anything. I mean, how do I drive? How do I even make love to my wife? Something I can't figure out and still haven't been able to figure out for years. The counselors aren't necessarily Nintendo know-it-alls, but with four weeks training and all the answers right at their fingertips, they're ready to handle the phone. Well, first of course, you can only go to the right. Correct? Correct. Correct. It's just a great place. Would you like a job? I need a new assistant. <laughs> I could do that. I really could do that. I could do that. <laughs> Someone should really go check on Rick, because for his safety or everyone else's safety around. Why don't you have a seat right over there for me, please? The video game craze will be more than a fad. It will be an adventure. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so we've seen a little bit of late 80s, early 90s Nintendo Power Line. Let's take a look at late 90s. If you've ever been stumped by Nintendo, which I'm sure you have, listen up. You'll be happy to hear this. The computer game company has a team of experts ready to answer all your questions about Super Mario and all the rest. Yeah, these people play video games constantly, so we thought it sounded like the perfect gig for our David Rose. What the fuck do they have against David Rose? Unfortunately, we have to send Dickhead over here to go interview Nintendo. Nintendo Gameplay, this is Terrell. How can I help you? They hold the keys to a magical world. Okay, so you probably got zapped into the dark world then, right? I don't know. That's why I'm fucking calling you. A select group of 225 Nintendo's video gameplay counselors. You betcha so you got the bird to appear already? Sitting in aisles named for characters like Torpedo Ted and Koopa Troopa. You know, Nintendo gave me a nickname one time, but we really can't say it on YouTube. They answer questions like, how do you get Mario past that white blob? Really? White blob? Yeah, question. That white blob in the haunted house. The white blob. I'm not sure if it's a ghost. It's a white blob. Frustrated players simply call Nintendo's 1-900 number and get the advice they need for $1.50 per minute. Holy hell, that's expensive. I like money. They don't even have to speak English. Oui, je suis pas capable d'ouvrir la porte pour euh, ouvrir le donjon. Ah, voilà. I can't understand you. What are you saying? Finally, I'm allowed to take a phone call with my mentor Alan standing close by. Go slow, but be forceful. All right, all right, you got it. Yep. Okay, go. Nintendo Gameplay. This is David. How can I help you? David, this is. Uh, I'm playing Illusion of Gaia here. Uh huh. You played this game? I have not played that game before, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, that's what I want to hear when I'm spending $1.50 a minute. <laughs> Haven't played that one. I'm not alone here and have plenty of help with me. What's around you? People. People. What are they dressed like? They're just like all the people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just because Grandma's trying to play a game to connect with her grandson does not mean she doesn't know anything about video games or people are around her. Really narrows it down. They're dressed like angels. Yeah. Okay. Can, you, can, can I talk to somebody that that knows? Yeah. Hold on. Just game? hold on. Just a second, please. Tough caller. Damn. Dave just got fucking roasted. Yeah. Where, where are, are you go? now? And where do I go once I get in there? Okay. I gotta hurry. My mom's gonna get upset if I don't get off the phone soon. Okay. You need to find the underground lake, and then you need to ride the swimming beast. You might want to get a pen and write this down. Okay. Go ahead. All right. You want to take the passage to the left. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. Give us a call anytime. A typical counselor takes 100 calls per day. They've helped 56 million players since 1985. 
And Allen says there's one sure way to tell a veteran from a rookie. You gotta get a big, solid piece of muscle. You do there. have a big yeah, muscle in well, your thumb. I mean, I got that muscle, but for a different reason. Now, if you think you can cut it, there's some good news mm -hmm. here. Nintendo is hiring 30 new game counselors this month. I got it. I got the job, guys. I got the job at Nintendo. Must be them. Thank you for calling Nintendo. You've reached us on a line that is no longer active. Aw, oh, mother... No!